It appears as if the Mavs are on a collision course with Rocky Mountain for that hardware. Ever since Rocky dropped an early season game to Mountain View, the Grizz have just been steamrolling opponents. Over their four game winning streak, their average margin of victory is north of 35 points to contest. Earlier this week, I went out to The Rock to catch up with the Grizz and find out how they are so effortlessly handling their biz. I think we're playing pretty good right now. We knew we had a lot of weapons when we went into the season, and just like Coach Kreiner did before, I told Coach Susan, let's just make it, you know, make it tough on defenses. It's just the game plans, watching film, doing what we're supposed to do, executing. They've done a really nice job of spreading the ball around and attacking people where, you know, where they're weak. Oh, I think he's playing at a really high level. He's making good decisions, which tells me he's confident. He's always could throw the football really well. Um, but when you know where you're throwing it, it makes it a lot easier to be accurate. With the starting position and being a junior, I feel like it came with a lot of responsibility. I feel like I've like held myself to that standard. Definitely with this team and stuff, I'm definitely playing with a lot of confidence in myself. One of the biggest keys, I think, is we've kind of come together a lot more as a team. We don't have our certain groups. We all are together. We're all one big family. It took us a little while to find a little, uh, little gel, a little family magic, and uh, you know I think we have been the last few weeks and starting to have fun, and you know we're gelling pretty good right now. After that tough loss against Mountain View, uh, really pushed us, and we're really pushing forward to be the team we want to be. Obviously, we want to be playing for a state championship. We want to be state champs. That's the goal. But in order to do that, we got to play really well, and we got to get better each game. So as long as we keep improving, then we got a chance to do that. All right, to Donna Larson Park we go. You know, Coach Kuwig also told me this week that DLP always just kind of seems like a tough place for them to play. Timberline showed why. Off the deflection here, Jamison Kokian comes up with the catch and the interception. The Wolves would score on the very next play to take a 9-6 lead over Rocky. The Grizz try to counter Lucas Levitt with a nice run right up the gut. However, they would eventually shoot themselves in the foot on the exchange. The ball winds up on the turf, and instead of moving the chains on third and short, they have to kick a field goal. Dawson Anderson comes on, makes this thing look easy. Good from 27, good from way more than that. That ties the game at nine. T-Line just had something about him tonight, though. They were ready to compete and try to hand Rocky one of the biggest upsets we've seen in the 5A, 5A SIC in quite some time. Wade Zenner steps up in the pocket, scoots around the left edge, picks up the first down before going out of bounds. Later in the drive, Zenner then goes to the air. Look at this catch by Garrett Lavin. Hauls it in with one hand, reaching out for the goal line, he fumbles it. The refs rule that he made a football move. The ball crossed the goal line. They give him the touchdown. It is 16 to nine Timberline. And then this happens. Zach Parsons taking down Teagan Sweeney for the tackle for loss. After the two exchange possessions, this was right before the half. Needing a big play. Sweeney with a bomb to get another Teagan. Teagan Hugh comes up huge. Rocky Mountain eventually pulls it together. They win 30-16 in the finals.